All right, guys, day two, Florida poker, Isles Casino first, and then Coconut Creek. Let's go. All right, guys, also real quick, before we get started, I need to tell you about Rad Poker. It's the newest, latest, and greatest heads up poker app. Make a decision in six seconds or less. It helps you make better decisions on the poker table and in online poker. I'll leave a description up here, also down below. And uh, here's a screenshot over here of me playing. Like I said, check it out, Rad Poker, iOS, Android, description down below. Let's go. What's up guys, it's me, Tony G, coming to you from the Isles Casino in Pompano Beach, Florida. This is episode 119 of my poker vlog. In this episode, we're gonna go see what the action is like in the one, two streets over here at the poker room. And uh, I heard it's a bunch of uh, older folks, but we're here to check it out. We're only here for a couple days, so we might as well hit as many casinos as we can. I hope you guys enjoy it. Here we go. Right, guys before we uh, get into the episode if you happen to be new here do me a favor make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons helps me out a lot it helps the channel out a lot and if you're not new here appreciate you guys coming back thank you for coming back and supporting the channel speaking of supporting the channel the merch store is open selling a bunch of stuff i appreciate the support on that link in the description below let's go Okay, before I get into it, everybody I talked to was right. It was a very OMC nitty room, but there was some action to be had, and it was a fun table. So with that being said, here's the first hand. Okay, first hand I get into, I'm in the small blind. I have the king of clubs, the ten of diamonds, the under the gun plus one folds, and it gets around to me, and I make it $6.00. The big blind calls and middle position and the cutoff calls. So we're four ways to the flop here. The flop is decent for us. It's 10, queen, six, and there's two hearts there. I check and it checks to the turn. Why I didn't bet at the time, I have no idea, but it checked to the turn. The turn gives me two parrots, the king of hearts. I check again this time for deception. I don't want anybody thinking I have a 10 because it's like I said, it's a nitty table. The big blind throws out a bet of $8 and it gets all the way around to the cutoff and he decides to fold and I call the $8. The river, it's a meaningless card. It's the two of diamonds. Now I'm thinking how much can I get value wise because again it's a nitty table i just throw out a bet of 16 dollars double what the big blind did last time and uh, apparently he doesn't like it he folds and we take down our first pot without having a show hopefully it's a good day Okay, an orbit or so later, I have king of hearts, eight of diamonds. I'm in the cutoff, and there's a $5 button straddle. I call, and four other people call, and we're four ways, I'm sorry, five ways to the flop, which is king, four, nine, with two spades. It 
checks over to middle position who throws out a bet of nine dollars i just elect to uh call the nine dollars after i check and make sure i still have my king and there are three folds and it's just myself and middle position now we're heads up the turn is the queen of hearts i'm hoping that he might have a queen queen nine uh queen jack type of thing and it checks to me and i throw out a small bet of ten dollars and he doesn't think for too long almost immediately calls the ten dollars and we're off to the river now the river can't get any better it's the king of diamonds giving us trips and i'm hoping he bets because i'm going to raise him and sure enough he does he says bet and throws out twenty dollars I announce a raise, and I'm just going to min-raise it up here to $40. Again, nitty table. He tanks uh, for about 45 seconds to a minute. I sped the footage up here. But ultimately, he does find a call. And when he says call, I flip over my cards and show him the trips. And he just mucks his cards, and uh, we take down this pot. Like I said, the action wasn't terrible, even though it was nitty. Okay, in this hand, I have Queen of Clubs, Queen of Diamonds in middle position. Gets to me, and I throw out a bet of $7. And again, we're going five ways to the flop. A nitty table, I don't know. Call it what you will. Five ways to the flop. The flop is 10, deuce, four, rainbow. It checks to me, and I throw out a bet of $10. And the guy to my left calls, and again... Nobody else calls. We're just heads up, which is fine with me. Heads up to the turn. The turn is the nine of spades. I check, and he throws out a bet of $18. Now, I thought about raising the $18 uh, because I figured he probably has some sort of draw, either a uh, flush draw or straight draw going, but I didn't. I just called the $18. And we're off to the river now. The river is the eight of hearts. If he was on a uh, straight draw, he might have gotten there. But I throw out a bet of $20, and he snaps it off very quickly. And I flip over the queens, and he just mucks his hand. So I guess he was on probably a flush draw and missed it. And we take down that pot. <music> Okay, a couple orbits later, I have kings in the cutoff position. It gets to me, and I bet $6. The small blind and the big blind are the only ones who call. We're going three ways to the flop. The flop is 10, 5, 4 with two diamonds. It checks to me, and I throw out a bet of $6 again. The small blind calls, and the big blind bets $25 it gets over to me and after I look at my cards I go ahead and call the $25 the small blind then folds and we're heads up to the turn the turn is the queen of spades he checks it over to me and I decide to check it back we're off to the river now and the river is the six of diamonds he says, uh, I'll check it over to you. And I said, how bad do you want to see my hand? He says, I do. So I throw out $25 and he throws chips in. I show him the bad news and he folds and we take down another pot.
Okay, in the final hand of this session, I'm in middle position. I make it $5 to go. The button calls and the small blind calls. So we're three ways to the flop. The flop is Jack, eight, six, rainbow. The uh, checks to me, and I throw out a bet of $5. The cutoff folds and the button folds and the small blind calls. So we're heads up to the turn now, folks. The turn is a meaningless three of hearts. It, it does uh, throw the flush draw out there. He checks to me and I decide to throw out a bet this time of $10. He calls and says, okay, go ahead. The river is the nine of hearts. And he checks it to me. And this time, I throw out a bet of $20. He says, I know you probably have a set. And I said, I don't. And I said, I promise you I'm not lying. If you call, I will definitely show you that I'm not lying. And he says, okay, I got to see it. Go ahead. I show him the queens, and he shows me ace-king. And we take down the last pot of the session. We're going to rack up and uh, go up to Coconut Creek with a win. All right, as you guys saw, uh, we won. And uh, it was a great table, awesome uh, dealers here. And uh, obviously, a little bit of nitty action, a little bit of older people. But the guys to my left were awesome, uh, good, personable people. I had fun. Now it's off to Coconut Crate for episode 120. Let's go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Tell me what you liked and tell me what you didn't like. And I'll see you in the next episode. Don't forget, it doesn't matter how you're living your life, as long as you're living the film.